Good morning. Good morning. Welcome from Dubai. I'm in Dubai, guys. What the hell? Can you believe I'm in Dubai? I've never been to Dubai before, and honestly, it's blown my mind, like totally blown my mind. Obviously, I've seen so many people on Instagram go to Dubai, and I'm here for work, so it's not all fun and games, as much as it may look like it's all fun and games, it's not all fun and games, but it kind of is kind of fun. And a golf game. I've been here for less than 24 hours now, and everything people have told me, my mind is literally out of my brain. No, my brain is literally out of my mind. There's so many things I genuinely didn't even know about this country. Like, not gonna lie, it was never like top of my bucket list or anything. I mean, I only know it from what everyone else has told me about it. Like, I don't actually know Dubai. Yesterday I was chatting to some guys and this this is what's literally like made me think, what the hell is this country? This is mental. Um, they control the weather. They can make it rain on demand. Who has that power? Everything here is nothing like I've ever seen. I mean, maybe it's because I come from England, which is like a teeny tiny, cute little quaint country. And here everything is like super big and really close. And everything is like, everything is like on steroids, do you know what I mean? Like the tallest building isn't just tall, it's like the tallest building. There's a shopping mall, which has an aquarium in it, which is apparently the like deepest pool there is that you can scuba dive in or something like that. I can't remember the exact fact but like who thought to put an aquarium in a shopping mall we're in january i've just come from england it's very very cold in england i think i was like frozen to the bone 99 percent of the time it's hot here it's like 25 degrees i totally get why people are coming here on holiday makes sense it's warm and there's oh my god the golf courses i saw the golf course at night so we're staying right near dubai creek if you know where that is i think it's north west northwest but I saw the golf course at night and oh my god did it look amazing. I mean I played Duke's Meadows right and if you don't get your ball on the green you're screwed. But here it looks like you can actually get your ball anywhere. Like anywhere and the likelihood you find it is much higher than if you're at Duke's Meadows. So win-win. I really really hope I get the opportunity to go and play. If I don't then I'll be quite gutted but fingers crossed I do. I want to show you my room because my room is quite... My room's quite cool. This is like my bed, kind of like a seating area. And then this is the view outside, which you can see all sorts. This is so cool. You literally have different buttons for different lights. You have welcome lights, relax lights, sleep lights, wake up lights. And then you've got master lights, perimeter lights, bath lights, bed lights, reading lights, reading lights. And then the curtains open and shut, which is with these buttons. It's just so cool. Oops. And I've got my bed. Sorry, I've slept on it. And I've done a little bit of work this morning. Go me. Got a delightful looking TV. Please excuse all of my mess. Oh, I've got my nice golf clubs here. Got a lovely workstation, which I have put all of my rubbish on as well. And look at this photo. How interesting. I don't know what it signifies, but very interesting. This mirror, you may think it's a mirror, but no. Well, it is obviously a mirror. Look at that! How fancy, and this is where you have your coffee, so you can just pull it out and have a nice little brew. Delightful. Yes, yeah, so we've got this lovely working desk space with a really nice fruit bowl. I'm quite privileged. Some lovely big wardrobe doors. A nice full-length mirror for outfit picks. I don't know. But a highlight has got to be the bathroom. There's just there's a room for everything. They put everything in the bathroom in its own room. Obviously, there's a light for each and every single function. The shower, the bath, the washroom, and the master. So here we have the sink. Then we come through into the shower, which is a massive shower. It actually like goes full on around the corner. Then, it's like a spa in here. We have the toilet, and a bedo, and a nice image painting. And then we here have a bath, again, spectacular. How cool is this room? I feel very, 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 very lucky to be in here. You know what, let's go to the rooftop. I'm gonna show you the views, which, I don't know if you call them like spectacular views, but they're like Dubai views, do you know what I mean? Like what you'd expect if you were here in Dubai. So let's go, and, let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is the lobby. How mental is this lobby? Like, what the hell? That's genuinely like a lift. It's kind of freaking me out now. The lifts are see-through, so it's, it's a little bit freaky. Even the carpets are quite cool and interesting. How freaky is this? Oh my God, kind of freaks me out a little bit. 
How crazy is this? This is just mental. Check out this ball. How cool is it? Oh my gosh, that sun is actually really, really nice. You can literally see everything from up here. This is the little seating area where we sat last night to get to know everybody on the set. Oh my God. Look at that golf course. This is all literally floodlit at night. That is insane. Also insane that there's like a massive road right next to the golf course. Honestly, I don't really know what to think of it. It's very, um, very different, you know? Dubai is just so different. I didn't really know what I was expecting to be honest, but like it's just different if you get what I mean. Look at this place. I just went into the shopping mall and I completely forgot to film the aquarium, but I'm filming outside instead. Oh my God. I've genuinely never been anywhere like this. I don't even know how to describe it to you. Just unreal. I genuinely feel like I'm in another country. I know I'm in another country, but like I really feel like I'm in another country. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. All right, for the camera. Cheers, boys. <laughs> it's a video. I'll see that one. Yeah. I knew it was a video. Oh, I was posing. I was there like that. Yeah, me. Big boomerang. <laughs> Good morning. It is bright and early. It's not bright. It is early. It is six o'clock actually. And this is outside. Nice. The shoot is today. And we're going to be heading over to the golf course in a minute. Um, very excited. Although I'm quite tired, not gonna lie. I went to bed at like, <laughs> went to bed at like midnight last night and I woke up at five. Not realizing that I needed to be there for 6.30 so I actually could have stayed in bed until 5.30. That, that, that is travel brain, when your brain just doesn't work at all. Taking my clubs, we're gonna go to Dubai Creek, we're gonna do some filming. I really, I so badly want to do night golf. I see everyone doing night golf, I really wanna do night golf. I also think I have found the perfect putter head. I'm sure you guys know, I quite like clean, neat, pretty, nice, clean things. This putter head is white. Why did I not think that I needed a white putter head? Obviously it makes no sense if you're playing golf and it's muddy and it's just gonna get muddy, but in the interest of myself and my mind and how I like white things, and I like black things, but white things, perfect. I'll, I'll show you later because one of the guys I've met out here, he has a company called Metalwood and he has the putter head of my dreams. We all know I just have this putter which doesn't really have a putter head and it's a second hand putter and it's just one of those like rough and ready putters which I kind of like in a weird way. But it'd be so cute to have like a little putter head on it. Anyway, I, I, can't, I can't tell you what I'm up to but you will see in future what I'm up to. Cryptic. Nice. Anyway, we're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna grab a coffee, grab a I don't know, and then head over to the golf course, which I found in Dubai. Everything is literally like 10 minutes away. Everything. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. This is funky that I'm walking through. It's like an art gallery. How fun is this? Let's get to breakfast. And this is breakfast. And there's no one here because I'm so early. Well, let's have a little look at the pastries. Mmm, delicious. Take a few of those and the snacks. Freshly baked. This is awesome. Oh. Hello. We're back from the shoot today. You won't believe what's happened. In fact, I couldn't have predicted this would happen. I accidentally now have Tommy Fleetwood's lob wedge in my bag. Let me show it to you. We have got... What does his lob wedge look like, guys? Look at this. We've got a beautiful 60 degree tailor-made gr milled grind wedge here. Oops. Basically what happened is um, I needed to hold a club on the chute and Tommy was holding, he was holding the 60 and I was holding one of his blades and then someone basically came over and said, this isn't realistic, me wouldn't be able to hit one of those clubs. <laughs> Which is obviously like the thinnest of blades in the world. Like. I, I know I wouldn't be able to hit it. I mean, I know I wouldn't. I'm putting my hands up to that, but it's just quite funny. So then we switched clubs, which is how I've ended up with that club. I will message him actually to apologize and request if he wants it back, but I kind of secretly hope he doesn't and I get to keep it because he's my favorite one. I'm not gonna lie, Tommy, Tommy Fleetwood is the best. He's so nice, like the nicest person I've genuinely ever met. Like 
in humans. And the fact he's a golfer is like a win-win, so I kind of want, I kind of want the memory, do you know what I mean? We're actually going to Top Golf tonight, so I am so excited for that. It just looks so cool when you hit a ball into the midnight sky. Like, there's literally nothing better than that. Look at how noisy the birds are right now. That's unreal. Here we are, Top Golf. Honestly, there was three floors. I was like, what on earth? There was five screens, all with different sports on it. It was like this like, massive sensory overload. It was just insane. My brain could barely compute. And this is my new white golf bag. It's Jones. I love it so much. It's a vlog. Oh, <laughs> Keep doing that. Right. You can't argue him up one. Okay, thank you. No? Ready. Excuse Ready? Stretching. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good one. It's the Brits versus the North Americans. We and have a Canadian Brits. and an American here. And the Brits are better. Uh, the Brits are always the best. The Americans. Good evening. I'm so sorry, I've literally not vlogged anything today. Like it's been absolutely ridiculously chaotic, mayhem. Quite intense, but like, quite intense. In a good way, you know what I mean? The shoot's finished, feel good. I'm like so excited to see what it looks like when it comes out of production. And Chris and I got to play the first hole of Dubai Creek as well, right at the end when the sun was setting. Oh my God, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like, I didn't know what to expect in Dubai, but like it really has blown my mind. You know, I'd just love to have like a two week lock-in in Dubai. Not even in Dubai, a two week really intense lock-in at a golf course somewhere. Like I feel so excited and inspired by golf after this trip. Like meeting so many people who are like really, really in love with golf. Super creative golf people, like genuinely, no words, no words. One really exciting thing did happen today. Not to sound like a weird way. Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but because I've been so naive when I started golf and then I've obviously been so lucky in a lot of the things that I've done. Um, I've met golfers along my journey that I, I couldn't I couldn't appreciate how great they were because I didn't know anything about golf. Anyway, we've got to a point where we're like, okay, I can now appreciate golfers. It's cool when I see golfers, yada, 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 even though there are some golfers who I would like chat to and be friends with and it's just like normal, if that makes sense. This doesn't make sense at all. Anyway, long story short, we're on the chipping green, right? Lee Westwood comes up. He goes and hits and plays some balls out of the bunker, which is like the height of me. They're massive. No bigger than the height of me. That's not even an exaggeration. The, the practice areas here are insane. Lee Westwood's hitting his balls, obviously, tight list for everyone's. And Cole goes to pick them up and he's like, yo, do you want them back? And he's like, nah, nah, it's fine. So, check what we've got. The ball from Lee Westwood. How cool is that? I have seen them before, but this is Lee Westwood. So somehow at the end of this trip, I've managed to come home with a golf ball from Lee Westwood and a 60 degree from Tommy Fleetwood. What? Isn't that so random? It's so weird. And I was just walking to the bathroom and then Matt Wallace walks in front of me. I swear all golfers come to Dubai to practice like I would. The weather here is unbelievable. Like it's so good. It's like a perfect temperature in their winter, which is like 25-ish degrees in the day. Anyway, I need to put this in a safe space before I lose it. I mean, I'm pretty gutted that I have to leave already. I'd have loved to have stayed longer and played with Bella. I was also gonna play with Olivia Cowan. Um, and then see my friend who lives here, but sadly we're gonna have to cut the trip short because of COVID, which is, I mean, it is what it is, right? I'm gonna put some little videos here, which are just from my phone, because I didn't get to catch much whilst I wasn't out here, so I wanted to do like a little montage of like a load of the pictures we took, the videos we took, because I had my phone on me, but I stupidly didn't take my vlogging camera out with me. I say stupidly, I don't think I would've even had time to do any vlogging anyway. But here's a little montage of, so things we got up to. Ooh, ooh. 